We've got our top nailers here for our roof rafters. They're 2x6 and as you can see we've got a 10 degree angle beveled on the end. This one on top is going to be going on the back low end of the wall and this one on the bottom will be going on the high front side of the wall. And then there'll be 4x4 four four rafters spanning in between these two. We've just clamped them together so that we can mark uh, the position of each rafter right onto these nailers so we know exactly where they're going to land. Basically the same as like what we, what we would have done with the top and bottom plate of our wall, same kind of thing. So yeah, and I should mention that one of them is about 12-ish feet long and the other one is 16 feet long. And you need one of each to span the entire length of the structure. So we're going to alternate uh, the ones that are opposite each other so that the connections can be overlapping. All right, so Tim's gonna mark out the the raptor edges now. First mark is in three inches. And then sixteen inch centers, sixteen and three inches wide, so inch. Inch and a half back. An inch and a half forward. So the center of the rafter will land on the 16 inch mark. Tim's going to make all of his lines to the speed square now. We're going to prepare a rafter now. And we're using the bird's mouth cut method, where you notch out the top high end. So this is, this is the top, which will sit on the higher end of the wall. And what's going to happen is we will notch a right angle into this corner that goes straight out and then down. So that's called the bird's mouth cut. Usually in a regular rafter it happens a bit farther back because each rafter will have an eave, but since our rafters are sitting flush with the walls, it won't have that. Tim's now going to draw the bird's mouth cut on the high end of the rafter. So. The cut comes in two and a half inches, but he's extending the line to make it easier for the circular saw to follow it. And then he's scribing the mark two and a half down to the edge. So this is called the seat, and this is called the heel of the bird's mouth cut. And again, that's going to sit on the high side of the high wall. Tim is just transferring that line at two and a half inches in from the edge across the bottom side of the rafter so that we can cut that heel in with the chop saw. We're going to cut the heel of the bird's mouth notch on the rafter right now. We've got the saw set at 10 degrees, as you can see. And we've also got the depth of the saw set so that it won't go any deeper than what's required for our notch. So Tim is going to make the cut now. And then the seat will extend up from that end to the corner. So you can see the line that we've drawn on there is going to form the seat of the bird's mouth. 
and we'll come right into the heel that we've already cut with the chop saw. So Tim is going to use the circular saw now, or also known as skill saw, to cut the seat. You might need to hold on to it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to brace my weight on the back end of the rack while I'm taking this video. So you can see now, that's a right angle cut into our rafter, notched in so it'll seat flush on the top plate of our high, higher wall. On the bottom of the rafter, we'll just be cutting a straight line. So you can see that this rafter is cut on a 10 degree angle. and. The very bottom will have a quarter of an inch thick piece cut out like this, so it has a seat to sit on the top plate of the lower end of the wall. Tim is now transferring the line for the back end of our rafter that needs to be cut off. So you can see right there, there's a little mark at a quarter of an inch up from the very bottom. And then he's just going to make a straight line. So that's the section that's going to get cut off. And since this side is 10 degrees, placing the speed square against this edge transfers that 10 degree angle to here. What makes it a right angle between here and here. He's now going to carry that line across the back butt end of the raptor for a line that his circular saw can follow when he's making the cut. So that's kind of in 3D, the section that's going to be cutting, coming off. And it'll sort of end right there. So there's the seat for the bottom out end of our rafter. So that angle right there will sit flush with the top plate of our lower end, lower wall. <laughs>